In this video, I'm going to show you two methods for tracing a call. Method one is real-time monitoring tool. If you already have Java installed and a plugin installed, you can probably skip the next couple chapters. You also are going to have to make sure you have CDR enabled. So if you're not collecting any calls or you're uh, going through the traces and there's no data, that's probably what's happening. So we'll go to System Service Parameters. And we're going to start on the publisher and we'll go to call manager, Cisco call manager active. And then you can see I have CDR enabled flag set to true and CDR log calls with zero duration flag also set to true. So I have that enabled on the publisher, but you want to make sure you have that enabled on whatever servers you want to collect CDR data from. So I'm good. I have mine set to true, um, but if you're not getting any data, make sure that those are not set to false or that is the reason you are not getting any. So in Call Manager, go to Application, Plugins, and then for me, I'm downloading the Windows version. So I'm going to go over all the way to the bottom and click Download there. And depending on what browser you're using, you might have to uh, click through some things to actually get it to download. And there we go, and now Windows 10 is trying to get me to stop, but I'm gonna run anyway. I know I can trust it. And I'm just gonna next, next, next through this. And that completed successfully, so I'm now going to log in and I'm going to put in the IP address of my publisher, accept the certificate, put in the credentials, and it is starting up. And we are logged in and ready to start tracing. So I'm going to click OK, and I am going to go over to Voice, Video, and Real-Time Data. So the annoying part about RTMD is it only does one hour at a time, um, but it can still be useful. Now I know, or I'm pretty sure the data is around this time. So I went to 4.47 p.m. And I'm gonna change this to my current time zone. That can be another trip up. So I have it set for America, New York, and I'm going to do the duration, and unfortunately the max duration, like I was saying, is 60 minutes. Um, so let's just bump this back a little bit and see what we have. And there we go. It is showing me all the calls. This is a lab environment, so there's been like no calls. But this is going to show me all the calls for this period. So if this is a production environment of any size, you are going to have a lot of calls. But let's say uh, a manager comes to you and says, hey, did 4295 get any calls on this date, you know, around this time? You could come into RTMT and then you could actually filter these down because you're going to have a ton, like I said. And you could change call number to 4295 and this should filter it down. The asterisk just means that you can have anything before 4295. So as long as it ends in 4295, it should be there. And there you go. You can see it. We now filtered it down. So then you can also change it um, or filter by calling number rather. So let's say they say, hey, we had somebody from this number say they called us and they got a busy signal or whatever, or somebody was rude to them. Can you see what extension they called? You could come into here and then just look for, let's say, 4567 and click Run. And now all the calling numbers ending in 4567 for this period, this one hour period. Oh, and it's making me a liar. Oh, and the reason that didn't work is because the calling number has not been that number at all yet. So I'm actually going to make a call and then show you how that will show up. So from, let me call five. All 
Okay, so now let's run this again. See if it's showing up yet. Okay, so I made that call. So I'm gonna filter it down by calling number with the asterisk just ending in the last four digits of that number. And hopefully I don't look silly again. There we go. And now it is filtered down to that. And so it's pretty cool. You can see the calling device name. So you could look in call manager and see like, who owns that extension. Um, and this would probably show up as your voice gateway if this was a call from uh, from outside your system. And then you can also see the call device name. So you can see it was Jim Harbaugh's Jabber. So you can double click on this and get more data goodness. And you can click on this and it can get real, real detailed. You can see everything you want to know about this call and more so that's pretty cool you can see the ip address there's call manager it called uh, my cisco jabber and every sip message is in here with all the useful information you could want so that is how i trace calls using real-time monitoring tool so that's real quick and easy now the only annoying part is you can you have to search one hour at a time so just make sure you have your time zone right the time correct and then you can start filtering it down after that and then you should be able to get some good details my second method would be the cdr recording within call manager so from call manager go up to navigation and then we want to go to cisco unified serviceability and then click go then we want to go to Tools, CDR, Analysis, and Reporting. Then we want to go to CDR, Search, and I'm going to do, look, we can see there's a whole bunch of options, but I'm going to go for uh, by user, phone number, SIP URL. That's probably going to be what you need for the most part. And I'm going to use 4295 as an, as an example, and let's just crank this all the way back. Well. Actually, there's not going to be any data before this, but you could crank that all the way back if you have data from before that time period. And I'm going to click OK, and there we go. We have some, we have one call, and let's see, destination number 24295, calling number, so it's from 5000, all phones partition, 24295 in the all phones partition. And then it's got the call leg, et cetera, et cetera. And then you can view more information than you could probably ever want down here. And it's gonna have time connected, node, number, uh, calling number, device name, probably just about every piece of information you could want um, for both the calling number and the called number. So I close that and I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna add a second phone number. So the quote unquote external number that I was using earlier, I'll add 616-123-4567, add, and now it will run for both of them. And I'll click okay. And now I have data for that one as well. You can see that it called from the all phones partition to 5,000 all phones. And once again, I can click and view all the details and provide those to whoever's requesting them or Cisco tech or whoever. So I'm sure there's a lot more you can do, a lot more you can search by, but for the purpose of vid this video, that's, that's all I'm gonna show you. So that is uh, how I would trace a call using the built-in call manager CDR tools. So I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, uh, go ahead and comment them. And uh, if you enjoyed this video or found it useful, please like and please subscribe and that will help me to make more. Thank you.